Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark Smarves, and today guys we have got the Titanic. So we are going to do issue 23 of Build the Titanic, the ship, the legend. And basically we're working on something I didn't know was going to be a feature in this model. And that is, we're going to be starting the mechanism for the anchors to move, <coughs> excuse me, for the anchors to move up and down. Now, when we saw all the advertisement for this, of working lights, you know, you can working engine and all that, we never knew that it was going to actually be, the anchors were going to actually be able to move up and down. So, I'm totally amazed by this, that they put this in. So, I'm really intrigued. I really, really want to get started. So, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is let's just bring the mechanism across. Wow. That looks lovely. Okay, now this step is important. I will say that. We need to check that we've got six centimetres of rope coming off okay yep that's definitely six centimeters now the reason why that's important is it's going to basically line up okay so let's have a look so it wants us to put this in here Push it down all the way. <clears throat> okay, and we're just going to check. Okay, that's working. So it's working like a, a toy car mechanism would do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to put the lid on. Okay, just going to check to see if I've still got that six centimeters. Uh, Probably another wrap round, I would have thought. Because I think that just has gone a little bit big. Okay, let me just get some tweezers. If you don't do this six centimetres thing, it will not align up. Okay, so that's definitely about six centimetres. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll get back to it. So we'll put the lid on. Just like that. And then we need to secure this down with some AP screws. Two of them. That's the first one, and we'll do the second one. So like a toy car where you would pull it back for it to go forward, um, this is going to be basically the same, so, well it's the same mechanism for like a toy car. Okay, so right, next I need to bring the hull over because we're going to put this into the hull. So I'm going to get out my part work upgrades mat here and just behind me is the hull. Here we are. It's quite exciting because we're just, I had no idea they were going to do this. Okay, so we need to put this on. We need it with the rope facing towards the front of the ship. Okay, so there we have it in place. And then we're going to be screwing that down with some QM screws. And I might just get some 3 in 1 oil because I can see some bit of paint in there. So I'll get that on. In fact, if I switch to the side camera, you can probably see me putting this in. Okay. In fact, no, I think it's better on the build. There we go. 
I just like changing cameras. That's one end. Now, we don't know if, I mean, we don't know if the port side of the ship is, not the port side, sorry, if the starboard side of the ship is going to uh, have uh, a mobile anchor because the issues aren't out yet, but um, I'm hoping so. That would be really nice. Okay, so we're nearly done here. So finish off. Okay, it's so a little bit of oil just in there. Just down there, there we go. And that's it, this issue complete. That was very, very quick, but like I said, it's something, it's something that wasn't advertised that was coming with the ship, but it's something we are getting. So I'm really chuffed at that. It looks really, really good. So that's issue 123, done. Well guys, that's it for issue 123 of the Titanic. Like I said, never knew we were going to get workable anchors, so that's been a bit of a bonus. I do know in the next issue we do get the anchor and the anchor chains, which we will be attaching to the ship. And she's coming along nicely. I've now got her up there, um, above the Bismarck, with all my little bits of Titanic alia on there and bits and pieces. So yeah, really chuffed at this one. Anyway, if you like this model, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.